tell us how the clan got started in the first place. The, the public what needs to know. Well, back then, back in the old days when we didn't have clans yet, there was a uh, little things called uh, crews, sure. and those are like up to ten people, another up to five, but they used to be up to ten. Mm. And originally, the people that were in that crew were Ash and Foxtrot, when his name was uh, Foxtrot Alpha ninety one. Oh shit! Was that Captain? his first name? Captain is returned. Yeah. No, not Captain Bestos, but Captain... No, no, Captain. Uh, CPTN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we yeah. were just looking at him in the clan chat. In the he, clan. He, he was in the original squad for the for that. Captain Foxtrot, me, and Ash are kind of like OG OGs. Yeah. From that original clan uh, crew. Uh, Ash ended up making a clan for the House of Wolves, but I wanted to be a leader, so I made a different one. <laughs> and the one that he made, Foxtrot ended up joining that one. But then Ash came to my clan. So Foxtrot had the other clan, and then he ended up giving it to some random that was in that clan and came to my clan. Oh, wow. Which I'm kind of <laughs> thankful about, because that's kind of something that brought the clan together. Foxtrot's pretty cool. So it sounded to me like you're a power-hungry wolf. <laughs> I just want, Well, I mean, it was my, you know... House of Wolves, you know, that was my tag. I came up with the true name, so of course I wanted to start yeah, my own yeah. clan. I got you. I'm just going to stick my name with you. You fucking tell me. <laughs> stick my name for me. Well, so, okay, so let's start there. House of Wolves. Why the House of Wolves? Why that name? Why, why was it special to you? Uh, House of Wolves is literally just uh, from a song from this one band called Bring Me the Horizon. I don't know if you guys would like it or not, but it's more of like a kind of like metal-ish song. Yeah, I just thought it sounded cool. And I like wolves, so... Have you ever met a real wolf? Have you met a real wolf? Hmm. Like an animal? Yeah, well, you're in California. Surely they have them everywhere, you know? Uh, uh I think... No. I never heard that one. California. <laughs> I never heard of that one, right? Yeah. In the mountains and shit. Yeah, yeah, California's pretty big. But, um, um, I've I, never I, been there, but I've, 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 I know big. things. And and was uh, was Wolf Four Twenty your original user tag name on PUBG then? Yeah, it's it always was. been Wolf Four Twenty. Well, it was uh, Wolf Zero Four Twenty originally. Mm -hmm. Somebody took Wolf Four Twenty, but once I got the clan tag and added that in there, uh, I could use Wolf Four Twenty. So it worked out. You added an so extra. That's why I used to, they used to call me Wolfo. Ah. No, no, no. The extra F was always there. Cause I, I just like how a wolf looks with two Fs. I'm presuming that's an education thing. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so so did you have, on other games, did you play other games before PUBG? Mm, of course. Uh, other, sorry, by other I mean other mobile um, multiplayer online network games. World of Tanks, I used to play that one. Before PUBG? Mm. I tried Free Fire, I think it was called, but I didn't, it was really laggy. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And did you use your username in other games as well? Wolf for 20. I think I've used it in other games before, but it, it is an old tag. It's something I've like. If anything, it kind of came. It was my artist name before anything because I used uh, to draw. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. That, like yeah. the tattoo style and stuff. The D awkward skateboards. On Instagram? Was that the, the page? I, I'm sure... I, hang on. Let me have a look at Instagram. I'm sure I'm, you follow it. I'm sure I follow it, yeah. But you, as you say, you haven't done anything for a while. So... That minute, yeah. But yeah, I do follow it. You're right. As well. I can tell you when the last time was. <laughs> 8th of April, 2018. Oh, it's been years. Yeah, it's been two years now. Do you still do art? Uh, I haven't really gotten back to it. I feel like it's... It's just a, it requires motivation and like inspiration, mm -hmm. and it also requires like it's tedious, you know. And I got kind of sick of it because I used to make um. So I don't know if you know the little sticky paper that's in the UPS. Um, no. Uh, or is, you know how the post office is? They use like a sticky paper that goes onto boxes to like, put the postage. 
Labels, yep. Like the address and everything? Yep. Yeah. So what I would get is the UPS ones, which is a, a mail courier here. And they were mostly clear. So I would draw a design on there. And I would, or I would draw a design in my uh, composition notebook. And then from there, I would get a light transfer thing. Like it was just like a little light tray. Just imagine a flat, like being with light. And I would put that under my original drawing and I would hand trace them onto these UPS labels, color them, or, uh, you know, I, I'd do it in pencil, then pen it out and then color them. And then I'd uh, put tape over them, cut them out, and they'd be little stickers. I've got a couple of them still left. Is that what I'm looking at in awkward skateboards? There seem to be something, some a similar style. They're all just, handmade. Uh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You know, you could make money. They're, you they're could do a career them. as a designer. Have you thought about that? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I, it was a. I wanted to be a graphics designer. It'd, it'd be pretty cool, like having my own skateboard brand. But yeah, I guess I just kind of gave up on that because, like, I got burnt out on it. I was a senior um, senior creative NASA specialist. That's mm-hmm. that's that's what I used to do for a day job before I, I moved more into marketing. So you can make money out of it, mm-hmm. and then if you're doing that, you can also pick up a lot of um, side side work as well. Photography is mm-hmm. not unrelated, you know. Just just some food for thought, mm-hmm. if you got talent. Good sure. Okay, and so the the clan system came along, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so you, it sounds like you had maybe less than ten people to start with. Which would be natural. Oh yeah, so I guess we just started playing, and as as long as we start, yeah, when we started coming across people, you know, that were cool and that fit our vibe, so you know. That's what I was just saying. The kind of went off of that. Everything after that's kind of a blur. We've all been having fun, so it just went by fast, you know. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah. Like we're talking at least three I years. Feel like we've known it, all of you guys forever. <laughs> what about um Fox Froth, or K- aka Capitan Bastos? Do you remember how he got started? You, you must have. Squatted with them, surely. Mm-hmm. Well, there's like, I was playing with Cambox and this random person yeah. that we played. We were playing like protect the president or whatever. Yeah. There's actually some footage that Cambox has originally on that. Oh wow. I think it's on his uh, Instagram. And boys, remember, I have your mothers in my basement. <laughs> keep, keep you <laughs> safe, and nothing shall happen to them. <laughs> no, no, if don't you fail your mission, my soldiers. I will have to make new brothers and sisters for you. <laughs> I don't agree. I don't. Good. And that, and was was, was Fox cool. Roth the random? Fox Roth was not the random. The random was uh, this. Uh, I think his name was Big Fat Pussycat or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so did did Fox Roth mm-hmm. know um, Cameron then? Hmm. You know, actually, I'm not really sure. If that this is sense. this is Cameron who plays the Rainbow Six Siege all the time now, right? The same Cameron. Yes, that's Cambox. Yeah, yes, Cambox. Yeah, you don't I'm remember. Pretty though. sure that's how I met him. All right, and no, no, no. and so we're like four years in now. I don't know how long has PUBG been going. Is it three years? Maybe two, two, three years, or whatever. Probably in its fourth year. Do you have do you, do you have any hopes for the clan? What what are your hopes for the clan? Eh. I don't know. Honestly, I, I I don't expect us to get big, like go pro or anything. But I just find it kind of cool. We're a little community. We're cool with each other, you know. Mm. What we talk to each other, you know, bright in each other's days. Well, I don't know. it's more it's become more of a family at this point. Yeah. Well, I think you and me have discussed. We've, some pre- people, we've gained some people. Yeah, and I, I've described it as sort of like a feeder a development clan. We've had some people that have actually gone on to be um, get paid to play either this or, or COD Mobile or be in some very top competitive clans. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we can feel proud that, you know, the, the House of Wolves served a part in that because they, they got to have a sense of community. And it's more than just, just a friendly clan. I mean, we, we do we do try and win, right? <laughs> we, we do take winning seriously. Yeah, of course. The, the, the clan yeah, was, I think, I mean, but we have fun now while we're at it. Yeah. Oh, fuck away. She's in the hole. No, no, no. I'll be right back. I'm I, think, I think when I joined, it was a top percentile clan. I, I remember that. I, I'm not sure what percentile, whether it was mm-hmm. top 10 or top five, but it was impressive enough. We, PUBG, we got up to top one or three percent. 
Yes. I think we were at 1% at one point. But that's just from daily activity. And uh, I wouldn't say it's anything with skills, but it mm. did show that we were active and we were doing our part, you know? Yeah, well, the, the competitive stuff would only come through with a competition system. How else do you gauge it? Otherwise, it is, it is activity. Mm-hmm. You can have a clan with the maximum numbers, and if nobody's doing anything daily, then what? that's not a great clan. Um, but, you know, if you've got yeah. 100% of the people taking part on a regular basis, whether that's daily or weekly, and and while they're doing it, they're actually doing – like, I, mm-hmm. I, took, I took the clan mission seriously – to start, just because that was a way of um, of making sure that we stayed in that top percentile. Yeah, we're all pretty proud of that, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, nice, nice. It's Sorry, meeting. <laughs> not not acceptable. Right, my apologies, I'm back. But <sighs> it's good to get a little bit of a backstory there for those that, those that are that don't know and were wondering about the House of Wolves. I'm guessing you're recording. Actually, yes, I want to right. remember. I want to remember how I met Billy. And there's also we haven't even talked about Billy or. Um, X and one well, no, X and five was with Camlox or mm-hmm. Sneaky Snipes and BK Turulu who haven't popped up in a while. Well, this is it. These are names that well, you know they were pretty cool too. Clan, um, clan information log note member. Well, BK Turulu was never in my clan. He was always in Black Knights. Which I'm not sure is even a clan nowadays, you know? There, there was a top clan, wasn't it? Such it? a long time. Black Knights? I'm pretty sure it was. Through, uh, um, Are they the BK Knights? Knights came from BK Black Knights. Yeah. Oh, Black Knights, yeah. What are the top clans nowadays? Let's see. Luxury Company? With 49 out of 60. Yes, whoa, 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 whoa. Fox Froth is You know, matching. back in the day, we used to take... Oh, is he? The what now? He might have a little bit more backstory for when he joined. Back in the day, um... It must be a glitch. What the fuck? What was I going to say? Back in the day. Forgot. Back in the day. I forgot. Damn it, back in the day. Mm. Yeah, say it, Chris. <laughs> no. I'll just keep saying it till you remember. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm just gonna make that's gonna make me forget more. <laughs> All right, fellas, I'm not trying to intrude, but I'm ready to see how good these glasses affect my game. So, let's, your mind starting to have the back forward during the game? Yes, yes, I think so. Just played some some pretty good games, I gotta say, and well, some markedly improved games. And we're putting it down to the glasses. He managed to get um, MVP a good couple of times. I'm gonna keep ready. 